Hey guys, Paloma here and welcome to the Bates House. I just posted a Pennywise thrift store haul because it was 50% off Thursday and today was the first day that Goodwill was gonna be reopening. I will not be going back until Monday, which is 75% off day. On Tuesday through Friday, the color of the week is 25% off. Saturday and Sunday, the color of the week is 50% off and then on Monday, it's 75% off. So on Monday, the orange tag will be 75% off. But I didn't see much at this location. I'm hoping the location that's closest to my house is actually going to open. I went this morning and it was a no-go, even though they were listed on the opening locations. That was unfortunate. It's my favorite place to shop at. That store has so much cool old stuff that I absolutely love. I was so happy to see those people. <laughs> I told the cashier, I said, you have no idea how happy I am to see you. And she's like, there's been a lot of happy people today. <laughs> okay, so I didn't go too crazy, but I did find a lot of personal things and just a few things for the Etsy shop. Let's go ahead and dive right in. So I'm gonna start off with the orange tag items that I did pick up, and these are personal items. Oh am gosh, can we just. So these are actually Hobby Lobby glass jars that were originally priced for $5.99 and they were clearance down to $2.04. And they had them orange tag at Goodwill for 99 cents. That means that I paid 75 cents a jar and they all come with their clamps and their little red fabric and the lid. This is so cute. So the little clips come off. Here's a look at your little lid and I'm gonna take this sticker off so you can see what it looks like, hopefully. Okay, so if you look there, that actually has strawberries on it and it says strawberry. It is so cute. So I'm assuming this was whenever the kind of strawberry picnic thing was really big, what, like two years ago? Each jar is this big. These are awesome. So how it works is you have your little lid, the fabric goes on there, you put your top on and then you clamp it down. This is so cute. Oh my gosh. So regular price, six bucks. They were tagged 99 cents. So I got them for 75 cents a piece and I did pick up eight. There's two, four, six, eight. So cute. I think I only have one more orange tag item that is for myself or for the house, which is this amber glass ribbed texture anchor hocking made in the USA baking pan. It says USA oven proof anchor hocking holds two quarts or two liters and this one was three dollars. It's eight by 12.5 inches. This is awesome. I actually found two other amber glass dishes, vintage amber glass dishes, and I love them. It's a gorgeous baking dish and it was orange tag for three dollars so I paid two dollars and 25 cents for this gorgeous baking dish. So pretty, I love that. As far as personal items, that is it for the orange tag. Moving on to the regular priced items, I found this. Now this I'm debating. I can't decide if I'm keeping this for myself or for the Etsy shop. I do think it is vintage. It is a butter dish, I believe. So you're supposed to be able to put water in here and you fill that up with your fresh butter and then you put it in there and the water is what keeps it airtight and your butter stays fresh and warm as opposed to putting it into the refrigerator. So if that is correct and this is a butter crock, let me know down below. If you think it's for something else, also share. Of course, things like this can be repurposed into multiple pieces because they're your dishes and you can do what you want. Aside from that, it is a gorgeous little butter crock, that's what I'm gonna call it, with two super cute and simple blue pinstripes along the side of the jar and along the edges of the rim and handle. That is so pretty, so simple. It's a heavy piece and it was only $1. Check that out, 99 cents, red tag, that is beautiful. I don't know what it is about blue lately, but it is getting my attention for sure. Another item I picked up for the kitchen is this aluminum baking tin. 
I love these, they're super lightweight. I have pizza pans that have the holes on the bottom, but I don't really like those because they don't let the bottom get crispy. We like crispy crust. So the holes on the bottom always make that crust softer and lighter and we're just not big fans of that. I am going to add this to our pizza pan collection. Plus whenever we're making pizzas, we make about six to eight pizzas and it's really hard to fluctuate um, the pizzas from the trays to a board or something like that whenever I have to put another pizza into the oven. So I'm trying to add up to get at least eight aluminum trays or pizza pans or stones that I really, really like. So far I have one Pampered Chef pizza stone. Um, I think I paid $3 for that. I have a comal that we use in the oven or on the stove. I have one, yeah, one solid bottom tin and then one pizza tin with the holes. Not a fan of that one. So I'm gonna replace that one with this one. And this one was only a dollar as well. This, I really debated on getting this or not. This is one of those things that I bought because of trends. And I feel like I can probably sand it and treat it with some beeswax and sell it in the Etsy shop. So it is $1.99, it's just an old, cutting board you can see all the cuts on it and everything like that but people love these for kind of a primitive or rustic country cottage kind of decor piece I think it's beautiful actually the way it is but not a lot of people feel that way so I'm gonna treat it a little bit change it up just a little bit it does have this nice leather strap here at the top and uh, yeah it was two bucks it's a really good size probably probably about 12 inches I'd say about 14 about 14 inches and uh, it's just a nice piece. So I did pick that up for two bucks. Also for my baking station, I have several rolling pins and I don't like to pay more than what I would pay for something in the dollar store. This one was only 99 cents, so I picked it up and I'm just gonna put it into a jar uh, with the rest of the ones that I have. I also use them at the top of the china cabinet in my baking station, just kind of sitting like that with some other cooking utensil baking things and it just looks cute. So I have that as well for a dollar. I buy organizers all the time and I have a lot of the Dollar Tree organizer shelves, which I absolutely love. And these are super heavy duty, great quality risers. And I love them. They were only $2. I do regret not getting the other two because I took these two and I was kind of debating, debating, debating. I made a few rounds and I went back and they were gone. So that sucked. But I didn't get any more than what I needed. I use these in my china cabinet. I use them in my kitchen cabinets. I use them everywhere. Well, actually I use the Dollar Tree ones. So as time goes by and I can find really good quality ones to change those out with, then I'm gonna do that. Anyway, these are $2 and they go for an easy 10 to 12 bucks because these are heavy and they're very durable and I love them. So yeah, I did pick up two of these for $1.99 a piece. I don't know if you can see that, probably not. Anyway, two bucks. Sometimes we have regular size recipes and then sometimes we have ginormous size recipes and it's kind of frustrating to have to flip back and forth between measuring cups and multiple measurements. So I've been trying to keep my eye out for a big measuring cup, but I wanted something that's kind of, you know, old. So I went today and I found these two. This is the first one. It is Fire King. It says graduated for cooking use only made in the usa anchor hawking and they are fire king measuring glasses you can see it there on the front this one goes up to two cups and then i have this one that is four cups i did see a six cup measuring cup today at um at Katie Christian Ministries, and I set it down and I forgot about it. So that sucks. It was a six cup, was it six cup? Yeah, six cup for $4. Mm. This one is four cups. I got this one for 
So it would have been worth it to get the other one. It's a beautiful Fire King glass measuring glass. Moving on to the last personal item, it is this here. Now, there are a few things that go through my mind when I'm looking at pieces like this. So number one, I repurpose furniture. I upcycle furniture. I do a lot of things to furniture. And I always like to find different ways to incorporate hooks and hardware and stuff like that. Whenever I find bags of hardware, I always jump on them because you never know when you're gonna need it. You always wanna have something on hand to add some kind of detail or decorative touch or texture or something like that that wasn't there before. On a piece like this, I always look at the price compared to the cost of one hook. So this was only $3.99 regular price. There are five hooks on here. Each one of these kind of cast iron uh, heavy duty hooks would be an easy three bucks a piece. To pay the same price for five that you would probably pay for one, I thought that was a steal. So I definitely jumped on this. It was $3.99 and they are big hooks like almost the size of my hand and I got long fingers <laughs> so there is that I really do like this this was from home goods for $16.99 compared to $25 okay so now we are gonna move on to the things that would be going into the Etsy shop if you're new to the channel welcome I do have an Etsy shop it is a vintage everything shop it is linked down below for you guys I really do put a lot of time and care into the pieces that I find I love to treasure hunt and then love on those pieces and share them with the world so if you like go ahead and click that link down below after you thumbs up and head out of this video and check out the shop because I have inventory that is slowly making its way into the shop um, things are kind of crazy right now so yeah there's that anyway this is one of the first items that I picked up now I actually picked up a replica teapot, a porcelain botanicals teapot that was this design. It looked like this, but it was a different brand. And that brand, that teapot alone sells for almost $100. So I was super excited about that one. I think I paid maybe $3 for it. It was one to three, I can't really remember at this point. but. It was a gorgeous teapot and I can't wait until I reach that part of the inventory to get it listed. It's a beautiful botanicals print. Anyway, I found this enamelware teapot with the botanical design look to it. And this one is Rosa Canina Dog Rose and it has a butterfly on there, a really pretty botanical print. It was $3.99 so that means I got it for $3. Any enamelware pot 80s, 90s is definitely going to be worth um, three dollars so I can't wait to get this one cleaned up and listed as well the cool thing about this is that the inside guys is like barely used you can see how polished the lid is and it looks like maybe someone tried it like once or twice but the bottom you can't see that but the bottom is so beautiful it's like just gorgeous I don't know it's just it's barely used let's put it like that anyway this is what it looks like super nice botanical print with that totally like 90s green or 2000s green kind of i like this i thought it was beautiful and i know someone's gonna love it especially it being enamel wear so i got that one for three bucks okay so when i saw these i could not let them out of my sight like I wanted to walk away several times but something always tells me not to or I always follow my gut and I couldn't step away from these and I couldn't find much information on them either so if you do know anything about this glass let me know because the only thing that it says on the bottom is Italy and typically it's Murano glass and all that good stuff but there's no stickers no uh, Murano markings on here or anything like that so I'm torn I don't really know where they're from but they are gorgeous purple ambery want stemware glasses look at that and I don't even like purple but that is gorgeous so I got two in this smaller size you can see there check these out they're just they're beautiful look at that they are just fantastic they're beautiful okay so I got two 
of these smaller ones. And then I got two of the bigger ones. And these were priced at $1 a piece. Check that out. They are like flawless, that iridescent purple to like, I don't even know, it's like an ambery gold. It almost looks like a carnival glass kinda, but it's not, I don't know. It's just so pretty. Oh my gosh. Like, I can't get the camera to actually do it justice. But anyway, so the only marking on the bottom of each one is the word Italy pressed or debossed in the glass. Yeah, I don't, I don't know, guys. I mean, it's just, it's beautiful. Look at that. So excited. So I'm definitely going to be putting those in the shop. They are a gorgeous collection of glasses, or they are a gorgeous collection of Italian glass. I'm, I'm in love with them and I don't even like purple. Like that's the crazy thing. Okay, so that is pretty much it for my Goodwill haul. I did not go crazy like I wanted to, but I usually don't unless it's a Monday. On a Monday, mm. Again, hopefully they open up the location closest to me because I would love to go in there and visit my peeps. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to comment down below. Let me know if you know anything about these gorgeous wine glasses or the butter crock. Share this video with anyone that you know is having withdrawals and just can't wait to get back into the thrift stores and do some treasure hunting. If you're new to the channel, welcome once again. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit the notification button on your way out so that way you'll be notified of new videos whenever I do post. You can follow me on Instagram and my Facebook group at The Bates House for real-time updates of all the random, random things that I do in a day. But for now, guys, that is pretty much it for this one and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!